my last segment in chapter one of sketching basics so we're going to be moving on in our next chapter to talk about features all right in this one we're going to talk about trim and extend so let's go ahead and open a sketch plane we're going to pick our trusty rectangle we're going to add a center point circle and we're going to add a second one and let's add a third one all right so this is what we're going to talk about these two functions trim entities and extend and i and i pretty much think that they're self-explanatory but it always helps to understand how to use them now trim gives you quite a few new options uh, we're going to just talk about this trim closest uh, so select OK. So now the good thing about the trim command is let's invoke it first. Okay, once you see the scissors, you know it's there. When you hover over a piece of geometry, you know that that's the only item that's going to be trimmed away because it's orange or it's uh, burgundy or red or whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna select that it's gonna tell me it's gonna remove this midpoint relation I don't care now not only that is I wanna get rid of this guy and let's get rid of this guy I don't care get rid of him uh, let's get rid of these guys now a lot of times you got to pick in a in a fashion that makes a little bit of sense to SOLIDWORKS. In this particular uh, example, what I selected didn't really require any kind of order. <laughs> so now we want to add a line. Okay. Now this particular line wants to be extended all the way over to here. So that's just as easy as the trim. We left click to stop that command. You can see the icon next to my pointer is that of a perpendicular. And you see when I hover over it, it says this is what it's going to look like. If you want it, left click and bingo, it's there. Um, we can do the same in this direction we're going to say extend extend this one and it extends to the next particular line if I select on it again it goes all the way back to this base alright so that's the idea behind trim entities and extend entities and I look forward to seeing you in chapter 2 hope you enjoyed